Police canvassing gun shops and firing ranges within 15 miles of Newtown, Connecticut, searching for more clues about the gunman and his mother. And tonight, some of those who knew them are coming forward to us with details about a young man who seemed to be unraveling. Here's ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross. Increasingly, Adam was so troubled he would not leave the house. And his mother, Nancy, in the last few months, told friends she was losing control of her 20-year-old son. It was just getting a little harder for her as, um, you know, uh, time went on. Nancy Lancer was a regular at this Newtown bar and restaurant, where the owners say she told them about her struggles with Adam's emotional and behavioral problems for years. She homeschooled him and everything. So she, you know, like I say, I knew he was on medication, but that's all I, that's all I know. Since elementary school at Sandy Hook through high school, Adam was known by classmates as strange, severely shy. He hated looking into your eyes for more than a couple of seconds. He'd always look down at his paper or whatever he was doing. A former babysitter says he was told by the mother to never leave Adam alone. Never even go to the bathroom or turn your back on him at any time. The former school security director, who became close to Adam when he was in the high school tech club, said Adam had several disorders, including the inability to feel pain. So if he had cut himself or hurt himself, he would not know it or feel it. So we were being very, very careful with him. But despite Adam's issues, friends say Nancy Lancet took her son to local firing ranges and introduced him to the world of high-powered guns, including the Bushmaster AR-15 assault-style weapon he used to kill his victim. Demonstrated here in a video posted on the company YouTube channel, the Bushmaster can fire 45 rounds per minute and is the most popular style semi-automatic rifle in the country. Federal agents say Nancy Lanza bought her Bushmaster legally in March 2010, a model apparently tailor-made by the company to be legal, even under Connecticut law that supposedly bans assault weapons. Oh. Okay, Brian Ross reporting in on his investigation.